Good morning. Did Jesus tell his disciples beforehand that he would be murdered? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 10, just a couple of verses here, Mark 10, verse 32 to 34. Let's read. Now they were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was going before them, and they were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. Then he took the twelve aside again and began to tell them the things that would happen to him. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him to the Gentiles, and they will mock him and scourge him and spit on him and kill him, and the third day he will rise again. Look at their reaction. Look what's going on here. They're on their way along the road, but their reaction is very emotional. There, there's amazement. There is fear. So they're actually hearing, you know, they're hearing Jesus tell them, by the way, there's going to be all these terrible developments, and then I'm going to be murdered, but then I'll rise again. But they're so troubled by this, uh, and the reaction is so, uh, it's like they really don't, they really don't want to hear it. It's disconcerting. You know, they are busy planning, uh, as we'll see, we'll see in tomorrow's morning's devotional, they're busy planning who's going to be who in the new government, you know, who's going to be the minister of the Department of Defense, who's going to be the, the leader of this section and that section, and, and uh, you know, how many, how many kopecks they're going to get, how much money they're going to get, how many minas. But you know what? Uh, th that may be, but uh, Jesus is giving him the hard facts. The hard facts is there's a troubles ahead. There's persecution and troubles coming along. Don't be planning uh, your wonderful new government. It might not turn out the way you're thinking. Jesus is trying to help them, but so often we don't want to hear what God wants to tell us. And that's a problem. We're told stuff. We're told it. We're told it over and over. This isn't the first time Jesus has brought up some of these things, but even though we hear it, we reject it. We resist it. We sort of turn off our ears. And what we need to do is we need to have God be with us and help us and anoint our ears so that we can hear what he's trying to tell us. Because he's trying to tell us not to discourage us, but he's trying to tell us because he wants us to have the blessing of knowing, knowing before it happens, been being told by his prophet prophetic line before it happens, and being able to, to understand these things when they come to pass and be ready to, to address whatever comes to us via the line of faith instead of surprise and emotional discouragement. So, are we ready to hear? Are we ready to listen? Is, is he telling us anything we don't want to hear? Are our ears open? We can pray about that, and let's do that. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be ready to hear. I know you gave us one mouth each, but you gave us two ears each, and don't know how much we want to infer from that, but it, it does seem, Lord, that we need more help to hear you, to hear what you're saying spiritually. So, Lord, bless us. Give us ears to hear so that we uh, can receive your guidance. This time Jesus is prophesying to his own disciples, but they're having trouble hearing it. Help us, Lord, to hear the things you have for us so that our lives will be blessed by the helps you give us before crazy stuff happens. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you're in the Bible every single day, because that's how we hear what God has for us. And yes, I'm glad you're hopefully being helped by these morning film morning devotionals, but I hope you're also uh, actually getting into the Word uh, day by day. You really need that. You don't start your day. Don't start your day without your spiritual breakfast. And uh, here it is. And you don't even need a toaster for it. So hey, have a wonderful day. Uh, the Lord be with you.